are you and what is your artistic habit? Uh, I'm Victoria Percy. And, and I don't know what to do with my hands. It's good just to and, touch a bird. Touch and, bird. And, and I'm Victoria Percy. And I uh, make glamorous chainmail jewelry under the name Venus and Chains. Available at Square Peg Artery and VenusandChains.com. Touch a bird. Touch a bird. What is it about your preferred medium that seduces you? Wow. Um, I'm a bit anal retentive, and chainmail is very, very repetitive, and it's very geometrical and very symmetrical, and. So I find the act of making it just very relaxing. Uh, I've actually read that doing something very repetitive, such as like knitting or crocheting, can actually be a form of self-like meditation and relaxation. And I also am a big believer that symmetry is beauty. So having things that are very perfectly proportioned to me is very attractive. So I try and capture that in my designs. How do you envision your work evolving from this point? Well, um, I'm always looking for new and different types of crystals to try and incorporate into my work. And so I think that's what I'm focusing on a lot right now. And I hope to actually publish a book on glamorous chainmail jewelry with crystals in it um, sometime in the future. So that's, yeah, those are my big, my big goals right now. What sort of imagery are you drawn to? Uh, mostly the darker things. Um, a lot of my art is, uh, the, uh, a lot of the art that I have in my house, not what I make, uh, is very um, sort of gothic. I like Ben Temple Smith and uh, Dave McKeon a whole lot. And I like a lot of pinup art, so. Can you give us two artisans we should Google and why? Oh, definitely. Um, Scoundrels Keep. They do like neo-Victorian sort of steampunkish outfits, and, but the thing that they're best for is their corsets. Like they, any corset you ever bought anyplace else, you're gonna look at it and think it's crap now because their corsets are just so well made, they're beautiful, and they're really sturdy. And um, Gypsy Lady Hats. I, I love hats, which is kind of funny because my husband hates it when I wear hats, but who doesn't like a jaunty hat? A jaunty bird and <laughs> and they make like kind of girly top hats and bowlers and they're just really cool. Why do you love square peg? Well I think um, it's the people most of all. It's a really wonderful place to to meet new people like as an artist in there I've met a lot of great people but also, it's the place I go to when I have someone to shop for and I have no idea what to get them. I can always find something there because they just have a really eclectic bunch of things and lots of things that uh, you didn't know you needed until you walk in the store. Have you ever been jailed for your art? <laughs> no. Um, I'm a pretty like tax-paying, well-behaved citizen, and uh, chainmail is just really not all that controversial. And uh, how often do people say yes to that? Are we gonna put a bird on something? We can put a bird on something. Put a bird right here. Happy little bird. Oh, wow.